What I can say is that what we saw in that video uh, is a direct consequence of the misgovernance in Zimbabwe. I've said time and time again, I was even sent to prison in 2020 for exposing corruption, which involved the looting of public funds meant for public health. Um, the, the problem that we are facing today uh, has been happening for years. Uh, and we have been saying this, but the South African side uh, was not uh, as robust as it should have been with uh, ZANU-PF. 2,500 women die every year in Zimbabwe giving birth. That's why you have over 70% of women giving birth in Musina Hospital in Limpopo in South Africa being Zimbabwean. This has been caused by misgovernance by ZANU-PF. This has been caused by the looting of public funds. And uh, this has been caused by the incompetence generally in the Zimbabwean government. Now, when you look at uh, the exact video that you referred to, it was about a Zimbabwean patient who was in South Africa for what is called elective operations. And these are operations that should have been happening in Zimbabwe. So instead of blasting the MEC as men have chose to do, I choose to look at the root cause of this problem and say, would this video have happened if our system in Zimbabwe was working well. I've heard the argument of ethics that has been raised by so many people, including the FEFF. That again is a South African argument. For me as a Zimbabwean, my, the number one breach of ethics is the one done by the Zimbabwean government. President, uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa took an oath of office and that's the first breach of uh, ethics that has taken place, where he vowed to protect the interests of every citizen, including public health. He has failed to do that, not because the Zimbabwean government or our country is broke and poor, but because his government and his political party that he leads have embarked on rampant corruption. To make your viewers understand what the problem is, all central hospitals in Zimbabwe, they only require 50 million uh, US dollars or the equivalent of 750 uh, million runs. Now, 100 million US dollars is looted every month uh, through gold. I've got a pending case where I exposed uh, Henrietta Shwaya, the niece of the president, after she was caught um, uh, smuggling gold outside Zimbabwe to Dubai. Now, the fact that a journalist is, uh, has been on remand for more than two years for exposing corruption, and yet people are allowed to die. It's, it's not good. And I blame the ANC for some of these things because when people like myself are arrested for exposing corruption, the ANC should stand up the same way that the frontline states stood up during apartheid supporting the ANC and the PAC. Hopewell, I'd like us to delve deeper into just what you are seeing on the ground in as far as the state of health, hospitals, et cetera, in the country. But just on the point that you're making on the ANC, you know, and ZANU-PF, in the ongoing debates around immigration challenges that are faced by South Africa, many locals here in this country, as you know, have bemoaned the loss of jobs to migrants. And in fact, the ANC's International Relations Subcommittee chairperson, Lindy Wezulu, weighed in on that matter and has been quoted as saying that all countries need to take responsibility for their citizens. What role then do you think that the Zimbabwean government needs to play here? Now, it's important uh, that 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 we this issue has to be addressed. And I agree with Lindy Wezulu that it, it is the role of the nation state to look after its own people. Um, today, we have uh, a huge immigration influx in South Africa because the surrounding states, uh, particularly Zimbabwe, and, and others have failed to take that role of looking after their citizens. And they have failed not because they do not have resources. They have failed because the governments in place are looting public funds. The government in place are plundering the nation's uh, natural resources and not putting uh, money where it's supposed to be. So it's only natural in the existence of human beings that if you are starving and you do not have a job, or if you are sick and there's no uh, uh, health service available, you go where it is.
So what South Africans need to understand is that Zimbabweans are going to continue coming to South Africa regardless of uh, electric fences or high walls, simply because the, the, the nature of life in Zimbabwe has become so unbearable. Um, you, your viewers need to understand that the whole of Zimbabwe, the whole of it, does not have a single working uh, radiotherapy cancer machine in all public hospitals. The, the, the biggest hospital in Zimbabwe uh, has got only five uh, working dialysis machines the 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 other second biggest hospital has got only four so between the two biggest hospitals in zimbabwe there are only nine dialysis machines and thousands of zimbabweans are, are dying from kidney disease that's why these people are coming from south africa they're coming from zimbabwe to south africa and they'll continue doing so until there is a resolution to the zimbabwean crisis i know that zimbabweans always talk about uh, the role of, of Tabo Mbeki. 73% of Zimbabweans who voted in the 2008 election voted for the opposition. And the then South African government chose to side with uh, the, 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 the brutal uh, regime of Robert Mugabe under ZANU-PF. And these are the consequences of those actions that were taken there. But it's important for us to move forward and say what needs to happen now. What needs to happen now is that there must be uh, democracy and good governance and rule of law in Zimbabwe. Today, as we are speaking, the opposition leader is in the uh, Mashonaland East in Zimbabwe, and cars belonging to his supporters have been damaged, his supporters have been beaten up. And you cannot resolve any uh, political crisis when such kind of behavior is being allowed by SADC. SADC leaders are seeing all these things that are happening. And it shows a tragic failure of leadership on, on the part of our president residents that they see that this crisis is carrying on but they are not doing anything about it sometimes from the south african side we hear the anc saying that uh, there's a brotherhood between them and the zanu pf which is rooted in liberation politics but liberation politics must put food on the table for both south africans and zimbabweans so i sympathize with south africans South African citizens, when they complain about the huge immigration influx, the root of that problem is found in Zimbabwe, and it must be resolved. Mm, Hopeful, thank you so much for your input on this matter. Hopeful Chinono is an investigative journalist and author in Zimbabwe, of course, weighing in on that video that has now gone viral by Health MEC in Limpopo, Dr. Popi Ramatu.